Hello and welcome back to Ice and Fire Season 2 Episode 6. And today we will be taking a break from industry stuff that we did in the last episode where we basically set up a little bit of a windmill which is currently uh, generating us power as we speak. We stand over here as you can see the power is flowing into this energy storage device thingy. Now today I decided that we will be taking a break from doing that because we've do been doing that for a few episodes now. So today we will be doing something else. I want to make a tiled trident. Now here's the thing. I only have one sea serpent scale so that means I need to kill another sea serpent. So that is one thing I need to worry about. The other thing is that I also need a dragon bone which I also do not have, so that is another thing that we need to get, which is why it is nighttime currently, because as we sleep, we will be taking Arox and we will be riding off into that distance, because I know there's a Savannah, and Savannah might have some dragon bones. Now, if you haven't watched the live stream that we did a while ago, uh, I recommend that you do. It is on the channel, and uh, we discovered a Savannah biome in that direction, so that is where we'll be going. And also, it will be safer to go to a savannah biome, because even if there are lightning dragons, they will be asleep during the day. But uh, we will we will cross that bridge when we get there. Um, first off, uh, I need to think which one of... Th which thing I need to do first. Dragon bone or a sea serpent? Um, I think dragon bone. Yeah, I think dragon bone is going to be it, so I basically I have my bed, I have everything, I have food even. So I think, I think I'm ready to, to leave. Yeah, I think I'm ready to leave. So I'm gonna sleep and I'm gonna bring Arox. Now the plan is to, when we get relatively close to the savannah, I will place Arox somewhere safe and I will continue on foot. I have diamond armor and I do not want to die. And I do not want Arox, most importantly, to die either. So, oh dear me. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, so yeah, that will be the plan. Now, hopefully everything will go according to this plan. Uh, the route should be pretty safe. As I said in the stream, we were over there and the, the route seemed okay. It seemed okay safe, so I think we will be good. It's just gonna take me a little bit to get over there, so I'm gonna cut it right here and I'll be back when uh, something interesting happens or when we are to the point where I want to leave Aerox behind. To be fair, I could just run all the way over there, but why should we have a horse and not use it? We, we gotta we gotta use Aerox, right? He, he can't stay inside that fence all the time. So I'm gonna cut it here and I'll be right back in just a moment. I do realize though that this terrain is not very friendly for horse riding. So maybe I should have reconsidered bringing Aerox, but you know what? We're gonna go all out. Um, he's here now, and yeah, he, he's coming with us. All right, I think we're getting close. Uh, it should be through this forest on the other side. There should be a savanna biome. Um, if I haven't gone too far away from, well, the path that I took in the stream. I could be remembering completely wrong, by the way, but... Uh, I'm gonna assume that I'm not. And I'm gonna hope everything will be fine. Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's further away than I remember. Ah yes, I actually think it is behind that forest over there. I seem to remember that wood type. Um, so yeah, I think it's behind that forest. Maybe I... Maybe I should place Erox here. I don't know. It's good that I put the horse when I did. Because we have arrived. So. Basically, the savannah. Why specifically the savannah? Well, the savannah is home to the lightning dragons. Well, it's one of their homes. Um, and the lightning dragons are basically asleep during the day. So as long as I don't get too close and I don't mess with their roost, I should be fine. Now the thing is, fire dragons are still a thing. So we will avoid them as much as possible. Um, but... If we do that, hopefully, we should be good. That seems empty, so that, that that's, that's not the sign I want to see here. Now, if you look up there, for example, that dragon is asleep. So that is a lightning dragon. So we can be relatively near that 
as long as it's not night time. So with that, we should be good. I think my strategy is going to be follow this river as much as possible. And then just hope for the best. <laughs> uh, just hope that we find one of the skeleton things that we need. I just want to get in and get out as fast as possible and get back home. Okay, there's another roost over there. I do not know if there's any dragon in that. If it's empty, well, that's not too good. Wait. <gasps> yes, that is exactly what we need. That is the skeleton, dragon skeleton thing. Okay. We're going to get this and we're going to build out of here. Right. How much are we going to get? Three. Wait. Eight. Okay. That's good. That's good. Eight are good. Oh, no. Brain rate drops. Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here before we get spotted and before nighttime falls upon us. Um, I'm actually going to stay near that because I don't want to go anywhere near that. As long as that doesn't wake it up. Um, I, I think I'm going to swim. All the way back. Yeah, swimming sounds good. If I could just get a dolphin now, that would be pretty good. I think I've got to go to that island over there. Got to be careful, though, because of those sirens. All right. I think if I just keep swimming straight ahead, unless there's a sea serpent or something, which, I mean, we could use, um, then I think I should be good. Again, as long as I don't get too close to those sirens. I think we're good. At least... From the savannah. <laughs> At least we're good from the savannah. Oh, wait. Uh, the savannah is still kind of close. All right. I'm going to sleep here real quick. And then I'm going to bolt back to to the horse. Stop lagging, please. And uh, I'll meet you at the horse. How about that? All right. Horse, we're going home. Mission. Su wait. There we go. <laughs> Mission successful. Let's go home. Though that was not the only dangerous part of this today's episode. That was uh, part one. We need to do part two, which is actually killing a sea serpent. But how about we get home first before we even think about that? Um, well, at least talk. I'm gonna think on the way home. <laughs> but for you guys, I will be home in three and a two and a one. And we are home. Nice. Safe and sound. Okay, that was... As I said, part one of the dangerous journey. Uh, let's see what we got. Well, <laughs> we know what we got. We got one dragon head and one uh, eight dragon bones, which is good. I like it. All right. Nice. So now we need a sea serpent scale to complete this to get the tide trident. Okay. Um, for the sea serpent, I think that the best thing will be, well, arrows, most likely. I'm still thinking about how to do it best. Um, I will actually double check the comments on the last episode because some of you actually gave some uh, suggestions to how I could do it uh, the best way. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna make a bow and I'm gonna make some arrows if I can. I probably don't even have any like... Yeah, I don't have any flint so I'll have to find some gravel, etc. Uh, but I'm gonna make some arrows, I'm gonna check the comments and yeah, I'll be, I'll be back when... Hopefully, I am ready. Where do I have my string? There we go. Now, do I make a... Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a normal bow. I think I am gonna make a normal bow. Just like that. Not enchanted, unfortunately, but if I just make enough arrows, we should be good. Time to find some gravel and look through some comments. Alright, I have flint, but I don't seem to have any arrows. Lovely. I meant feathers. Pretty sure I said arrows. I meant feathers, okay? And arrows have been acquired. Almost a full stack. Hopefully that is going to do it. Um, I have a boat. And I think I kind of know what to do. Hopefully. Arox, we're leaving again. <laughs> so, in the stream, uh, we went over to the village and we saw a sea serpent relatively near the coastline. Now, the thing is... I killed one that stream, a uh, sea serpent, but, uh, get up, but it was on land and it may have been bucked out, it didn't even hit me once. 
I kind of have to assume that that will not happen again. But I'm hoping if I can lure one to the beach, that maybe, just maybe, I will have a slight chance at getting it. Um, that That's my hope anyway. Uh, oh dear, that was a light spike. <laughs> Okay, the sun is currently going down, but it's almost, it's, it's, it, it, it's fine. Um, right. I need a sea serpent around here somewhere. Now, I have actually not gone over there. So I could go to that and then see if there's one close by. Because I think the best strategy is going to try and fight it on land or close to land anyway, where I can also use my bow and arrow. Um... So I think I'm gonna go over there and then I'm gonna see what I can see down that way. I do have a bit on me and I will set my respawn point right next to it um, before starting a fight with it. I think that will be the smartest idea so I can spawn right back in if I die. And yeah, hopefully everything will turn out okay. Yeah, I have not been over here whatsoever. Like I haven't been a bit over here at all. Um, this, this could be interesting. Who knows? Maybe there's a Murmex type over here. Or more dragons. <laughs> that could be it. But. Hmm. We are actually 500 blocks away from spawn. So. Dragons are not entirely impossible. Further down anyway. That right there is a Siren Rock. So. We're definitely heading into. Um territory of where things can spawn from ice and fire. Would you look at that? We have a mermaid hive over here. Huh. Interesting. Just ignore that blankness over there. That's just from an error that I think I have fixed anyway. I have not seen any um, sea serpents yet. So I think I'll have to try and go back to where I saw the original one back from the stream. It was around here that I found it. Pretty sure it was either on that beach or right here when I saw it out in the distance. We have a ruined portal there, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, it was around here somewhere when I saw it. It was out there in that direction. Uh, I don't know how far out I am gonna dare to go. Um, <laughs> Wait. I see one. You see it in the corner there? It's frozen in the water. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there, but it's there. If I could lure it over, maybe. Um, I don't know why it's just... Is it on land? Wait a minute, that's a house. Oh, wait, there it goes. Okay, um, so it's definitely over there, but that's a village. So... Maybe if I could go over to the village, set my spawn, and then maybe we can take it there. That is, if it doesn't attack me first. This area is very weird, by the way. It's a bug, basically. But right now, we can't focus on that. We gotta focus on the sea serpent. Uh, this is all fixed, by the way. It's from when we streamed. Um, hold up. It was right here. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. Come back here, you. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's a small one, too. That might be good. Oh, here it goes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, it actually... Oh. Okay. Seven sea serpent scales. That's good. Okay, that fight was very anticlimactic. <laughs> what was that? A couple arrow shots? That was a small one, huh? But that one gave me seven seeds of its scales. That's pretty good though, right? I, I'll say that's pretty good. Um, okay. That was pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> well then. I guess I will go ahead and explain what happened here. Why is it so bland? Why are there are no trees? Why is there basically not a biome here? Basically, it appears that if you have a shader pack with Optifine, it is possible that it breaks certain biome generation mods, and that is what happened. 
in the stream I had a shader pack on and so while exploring um, we came across area like this. So what I'll need to do is basically find out where this happens and I will need to delete those chunks if I can. Now it should be fixed, I don't have a shader pack on and up to fine alone shouldn't be doing this. Um, because that's how I started the series. Would you look at that? Another Gorgon Temple. Um, but yeah, moving forward, as you can see over there, then it begins once again, uh, generating greenness and trees and whatnot. So yeah, if, if you're running this pack, if you're one of the patrons and you're running this pack, um, don't run with Optifine and a shader pack. I'm not sure what is going on. Hopefully it's going to get fixed either on Optifine sand or on the biome generator sand. But yeah, that's just a heads up. That is what this is basically. Um, that's why it's not that pretty here. But anyways, we got the sea serpent scales. That's cool. So now we can actually make the tide trident. Awesome. Let's 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 get back home and hopefully I'll have this sorted so the world is not clean. <laughs> if I can. Um, if you know of a like chunk remover thingy thing, let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, oh, don't want to go too close to the sirens over there. Uh, I guess we can stop by this ruin portal here. Why not? Let's see if we have anything useful in this. Probably won't. If there even is a chest here. There... No chest? That's the second one without a chest. Huh. Wait. Nope. I see a chest here. I see a chest. What do we got? Flint. I'll take the flint. Golden horse armor. Buy a charge. Golden chest place with black protection. I'm gonna take it. I'll take it. You never know when you're gonna need that. Interesting. Alright, let's head home and let's build ourselves a trident. I'm just thinking about that fight. That was extremely anticlimactic. <laughs> I shot it. I think I only hit it. Did I only? I think I only hit it once with the bow. I hit it a couple times with the sword. It tried hitting me. It did like half a heart of damage. The other time it hit my shield and then it was dead. That was way easier than I had expected. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, it was a rather small one. It was a rather small sea serpent. Um, but still, that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> I was like, now moving on to part two, the dangerous part of this episode. Nope. Nope. I would say the most dangerous part was getting those dragon bones, for sure. All right, we are home from... Wait, okay, yeah, there we go. We're home from slaying a sea serpent. So now, that's interesting though. This one gave me seven sea serpent scales and one sea serpent fang, but the other one we killed in the stream gave me four sea serpent fangs and one scale. That's interesting. What else can we actually make with this? Oh yeah, we can make the tide guardian stuff if we get uh, shiny scales, which, where do we get those? Uh, hippocampus and, right, the sirens drop these. Okay, uh, what else can we make with it? We can also make tight arrows. Not stopped by water, that's cool. Okay, interesting. Before doing anything though, let us give, oh wait, you have iron horse armor. Well, I think it's time we upgrade you to gold horse armor. I think actually that kind of looks better. Yeah, see, he likes it. You like it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you like it, he likes it. The sign or armor will be put in the chest uh, for storage. Right. I guess here we go. So, one dragon bone. Uh, I believe three sea serpent fangs. Two sea serpent scales. One diamond. And I think that's it, right? Yep, that's it. That's pretty much it. I want to craft it manually. I want to do this manually. <laughs> there we go. Tide Trident, legendary weapon, very strong Trident weapon, pierces through multiple enemies. Cool. Why didn't we get an advancement for that? Hold up. Why didn't we get an advancement for that? Come on now. Throw a Tide Trident at a mob. Ooh, so we need to... Okay. Okay. Very nice. So this alone does... If I just hit with it, use it like a sword. This does, what? Six hearts of damage? 
I'm gonna wait for night time. It is now night time and the bad guys of the night are out. So let's see how much damage this thing actually does. Let's test it on these weird raiders or whatever they're gonna be called. All right, so Desert Bandit, right. So this has done, what, three? Yeah, three hearts of damage this thing does. And if we use the Trident just as a normal melee weapon, let's watch. That did more than half of its health. So they have 10 hearts to begin with. That's a lot. That's a lot alone. Now, if we throw it, how far can it be thrown? I wonder. Stand still. Stand still. Eh. Okay, it can be thrown pretty far. Only issue is... <laughs> it, uh... <laughs> it, 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 that, wait, there we go. Perfect. Ow. That, there we go. Nice. <laughs> and that was the advancement. Cool. Awesome. Oh, wait, we got an archer here. Got, oh, <laughs> I need practice in throwing this thing. I wish it would just hit back to me. Once it had... Yeah, this this is an issue. I don't think I'm going to walk around throwing it. I'm pretty sure there's like a um, enchantment to, to get. Oh, I have weakness now. Oh, dear. I'm pretty sure there's an enchantment where it like goes back. Oh, don't go near that thing. Where it like... Um, huh. That's not a bad, that's not a completely bad bow, but where it comes back to you after you have thrown it. Nope. As I said, I need, I need training with aiming this thing. Nice. I like it though. Now, before I use too much of its durability, I do want to start getting into enchanting because my armor needs it, my tools and my weapons need it clearly. And yeah. Enchanting, even getting an anvil as well is gonna be something that we do pretty soon. And I'm thinking a stream again. I'm thinking we possibly do a stream where we mine and we also get stuff like an enchantment table and set up an enchantment station somewhere. Could be on top of here. Who knows? Um, but I don't know if it will replace an episode next week. We will have to see. Um, I will schedule the stream usually a day before it goes live. So just if if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications so you'll get notified for whatever I choose to do. Also join my Discord server link down below um, for updates and stuff like that. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. So we got the Tide Trident, very very cool stuff. And honestly, the hardest part of getting it was the Dragon Bone. <laughs> <laughs> well, not even the hardest. That was the most dangerous part of the mission. Killing the sea serpent, that was pretty easy. But yeah, anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Okay, I'm not actually going to throw it because durability. <laughs> also, I should say you can join my Discord server link down below. And if you're interested in this mod pack, my Patreon page is down below in the description. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in whatever comes next. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Well, that actually looked really cool. Not good for the durability, but it looked awesome.